Welcome back everyone and now with me I have the very lovely Pooja Kumar. First of all, welcome to LA. It's great to see you. Thank you. I'm so excited to be in LA. I mean, I love the beautiful sunny weather and it's awesome. It's a nice change from New York. So tell me, what brings you to LA here? Well, um, there are a couple of projects that I'm up for right now. So let's see, I can't really talk about them as of right now. Okay. But once I get solidified and I'm able to talk about them, you'll be the second person because I'll be the first. <laughs> okay. So I will that's definitely fair. Yeah, like that's fair. Know. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that's where I'm out in LA. And then uh, I have a film that's going to be coming out later on this year, which I'm very excited about. Um, it's called Vishwaroop. Uh, and it's with the legend um, Mr. Kamal Hassan. Yes, and yes. I'm very, very excited about it. And uh, we've shot it in two languages, in Hindi and in Tamil. Uh, so um, that's what I'm, you know, really looking forward to right now. Now, do you speak Tamil? I can't. So they wrote the dialogues phonetically in English. Wow, that yeah. must have been a lot of preparation. It's the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Now I can say hire me because I can do anything. You know? Yeah, absolutely. Wow. <laughs> I mean, just to um, you know share the screen with a legend um, of his caliber has been you know, it's really humbling. Um, but at the same time, you know, it's been such a, a learning experience because he's an actor, director, um, choreographer, dancer, producer, writer, and his knowledge, you know, of politics, philosophy, and cinema is so vast that, you know, just spending time with him on set and just watching and observing what he was doing was huge growth for me. And I think for anyone who can get an opportunity to work with him, they're just really lucky. And, and, and I'm truly humbled that I could, I could do that. Yeah, he's definitely an embodiment of talent. Were you a little nervous at all when you first met him? So nervous. I mean, he's got this, you know, intimidating um, sort of persona about him. So absolutely, I was very, very nervous. Um, you know, but he's so sort of warm and welcoming that like after, you know, after our first day, because he liked what I was doing, um, you know, he was very, very, very sweet and very nice and, um, you know, made me feel very comfortable. And that was one thing that was really um, sort of, I think very important for me is because I'm going to Chennai, I'm shooting in Chennai and everyone's speaking in Tamil and I can't speak, um, you know, Tamil. So it was kind of, that was really sort of intimidating. I'm like, oh my God, where am I? What's happening? How do we work here? All right. And then I'm like, go for it. You know, what an experience to have. Uh, only thing I regret is I don't get to dance with him. So, <laughs> you didn't get to dance with I him? I didn't. I'm like, oh, next time, please, can you make a movie where I can dance with you? <laughs> That would be great. Now, yeah. you have done it all. You walked the ramp, you yes. started your career as a beauty queen. Yes. You VJ'd, you've done theater, you've mm -hmm. done, you know, movies. So, what is your true love, you think? My true love is, is just celebrating the craft, um, you know, and, and just being able to share it, you know, share my passion with everyone else. Um, you know, I love performing, I love the stage. Uh, uh, and I think sharing that passion of mine with everyone else really, really um, is important to me. And I think it also um, sort of encourages other women that, you know, you can do whatever you want. I grew up, you know, um, watching the only Indian woman that we could sort of um, look up to was Persis Kambata. And she was the bald woman on Star Trek and, you know, portrayed as an alien. I said, we're not aliens. <laughs> you know, we're from India. It's another country across the world, but we're actually beautiful and, you know, um, and humble human beings. So that was, you know, when I grew up, I was like, I've got to be, you know, sort of an inspiration like she was since she gave so much. Um, let me see if I can do something and, and give a little bit, you know, make a little bit of a difference. Aside from purses, who were some of your inspirations? Well, I'm, I loved watching Madhubala. Uh, of course, she was amazing. Meena Kumari, um, as far as the Bollywood um, side was. And then my, um, the biggest, you know, one for me right now is, is Meryl Streep. Um, you know, watching her, has she's been able to sort of seamlessly go from character to character, you know, without, um, without any effort. And that's what's so fantastic, you know, watching her, um, is this, how do you do that? And every time you see her, like, wow, oh, God, like she nailed it. And, you know, you just want to um, be able to do that yourself, so. She's yeah. truly timeless. Oh, she is. My God, I mean, she doesn't age, and she looks fantastic in every role she does. And you want to keep watching her. You know, there, it's not just about, you know, being an actor, but what is that um, sort of it factor that you have that you want to keep watching, you know? And you came into, 
you know, this whole mainstream of cinema yeah. at a time where very few Indians were in it. What is your take from that? Uh, well, I think it's a fantastic time. It's cool to be Desi. You know, the music has been integrated, um, you know, w with the Western world, fashion, um, you know, the movies even. You know, we're doing, uh, I mean, I'm an American actor and I'm doing a Hindi and a Tamil movie. It's really opening up, which I think is awesome. And, um, you know, while growing up, it was like we kind of shied away from our culture because we weren't sure, you know, how to celebrate it. And I think for the new generation, it's fantastic because they can just be, you know, who they are and, um, you know, not have to kind of um, sort of defend where they come from or anything like that, but actually, um, you know, engage with other people and share the knowledge of where they come from. And, and people generally want to know now. So it's great. In the next five years, what yes. do you think you'd like to accomplish? Well, I would, I would just continue to, you know, love what I'm doing right now, which is acting, and um, and continue on that path. You know, there's so many roles that are out there for women. Um, there's so many ways we can create it. There's so many ways we can write it, produce it, um, and uh, I just hope that I can, you know, continue to do it till the day that I die.